Hello, hello. We are out and about and we've got trickling water and muddy feet and I'm probably going to have bad knees after this. Um, I'm out with Gareth, Mr. Gareth Danks. And we've only just got out of the car. And we've only whinging. just got out of the car and I'm whinging. Yeah, you're right. And also with Steve, Steve Hargates behind me. Uh, we were in a previous video. I don't know if it's the week before this or the week after this or four months. I don't know. You know what I'm like in my videos. They're all over the place. But we are out and we're heading up uh, Krimpiai, which is in Kapukurig in North Wales. Uh, because Gareth is all of the hopeful and telling us we're going to get amazing lights, fantastic light oh, rays God, and so godly sun and rainbows and the evening unicorn. light's going to be just a man. Oh, was there a unicorn? I missed it. I missed it. I was talking. Um, so yeah, this is what he's promised us. No, he hasn't promised us, but <laughs> um, I've never come up this way before. I've been up on Krimpiai before with Mr. Nick Livesey. Um, but this is a very short, simple little walk, this is. Um, without you. Without me. <laughs> yeah, nice and quick and easy without me whinging and moaning. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the plan. We're going to come up, then chill out, take it easy, watch the low light, the low winter sun, and it's going to cast some amazing light, and we're going to get a stunning photograph of Snowden. Oh, he's got a shot in mind. He said we, but he definitely has. So I'm just going to copy him. So it's a lot, a lot easier for my plan. He needs to copy someone else. And it wouldn't be the first time, would it? Let's face it. So I'll speak to him when we're a little bit further up. <laughs> he can't do it with one hand. What's up with him? Ready. There we go. Yeah, but I've got, I'm really clever and smart that way. I can use my feet as well. <laughs> And I'm old, so I'll try to avoid the steps. So I'm in a race. I want to actually get my camera out and put it on my clip, but I'm trying to keep up with uh, Gareth in front of me. He's walking like a, he's walking like a wild dog chasing a rabbit. He's just, he's unbelievable. Come on, Gareth. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> he is, he's like, he's like he's chasing a rabbit up a bleeding hill. <laughs> oh, apparently if it's because I'm talking too much, so I'm, I'll be quiet. Gareth decided he wanted to get up there quicker. So he said, let's go up there. I can see the path, he says. I can see the path, he says. What path? What on earth is, what on earth? <laughs> at what point is this a path? But yeah, he's right, he can see it. it's up there. We just got to make our way through this extremely slippery, <laughs> extremely slippery bracken. Oh, it's an adventure, it's an adventure, you old man, he's saying. Yeah, you're right, it is. <laughs> on the old weary legs. It's all right, Steve, he said it's a path. <laughs> Winners make their own path. Hooey! Right, we're on the path. We found the path and the views. Oh, the views. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the light. Look at the clouds. Look at it. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a sweat on. And it is really steep. Me and, uh, me and Steve here, wherever he is, he's, he's down here. Me and Steve are at the stile. The young whippersnapper that decided to come this really crazy route, he's just used the excuse down there of vlogging and he, <laughs> just to get himself a bit of a respite. What an excuse these youngsters have got. What an excuse. Oi, oi, oi. The view's opening up even more now. Oh, but my goodness, I'm whacked. We haven't got far to go. Just this little bit here. And that's the view that Gareth's planning on. And that's what I love, that's beautiful. The snow on the tops, that's just enough snow for me to get excited. Maybe a little bit more, maybe an extra quarter of the way down the hill, but it means the roads are clear. Oh, wow, I'm knackered. <laughs> so I have got the camera out and I'm just looking around with a long lens at the moment while these guys are looking at tripods and things. And I just literally want to grab a few snappy shots because it looks stunning. I've got this bowl up on the side here. I don't know what the name of it is. Uh, That's the back of the Clenadi. The back of the Clenadi. Uh, so Gareth said it's the back of the Clenadi and the sun's coming over the top of it and it's lighting it up. It looks like a volcano and a big crater and the light behind it is so dark compared to the foreground. That's where the it's reservoir just... we were going to walk up to. Oh, was that the reservoir we were going to? That's where we were going to go originally, but yeah, it's just fantastic. The light down into the Snowden Bowl as well is is just really nice. The clouds are gonna just absolutely pop insane once I've had a play in the old Photoshop. It's really gonna make them pizzazz. Yeah, what? This is a stunning view. I said it when I come up here with Nick. It was amazing. I think we were right up on the top, but this is just a fantastic little view. 
and a 20 minute walk, I think you said, well, didn't you, really on a good day? 20 minutes yeah. and you're here. So yeah, let's, uh, let's film my boots, get a few shots. I might even get the tripod out if I feel good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to actually get the tripod out. Look, I'm actually, I'm actually going to make the effort of getting it off my bag. I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to stand it there as decoration. <laughs> so look at this. I've actually made the effort to take the uh, tripod out and I've lost my lens cap. I don't know where that's gone. I think it's in my bag somewhere. Uh, so I've brought my little tripod out today on my medium, my medium small tripod. I've got a leveling head on it and I've got uh, a ball head. I haven't got my geared head. Uh, everyone's been talking about the geared heads today and I haven't brought mine. I've gone a little bit lighter. I'm trying to go lighter. So yeah, I've got this medium sized tripod with a, with a ball head and it works, of, it works well enough, but it's not quite as fine tunable as those geared heads. I do like my geared head, but they are heavy. So you've got this really fine line, haven't you? You, make a, you, you, know, you sacrifice your bigger camera for a smaller, lighter camera and the lighter lenses and it goes to a slightly lighter tripod and you stick a great big heavy geared head on it. So I'm sort of horses for courses. I thought I was going to do a bit more walking higher up and I've just been thrown a, a strawberry flavoured pencil. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. So, uh, yeah, talking with my mouth all now. Right, I'm going to set up some sort of a composition and uh, I'm going to sit and wait for light to happen. Rare for me, but I'm going to sit and wait. I'm going to take a, a leaf out of Mr. Dankshire's book. Sit and wait for one photo. And shut up. And shut up. How rude is that? Got myself a composition set up. It's probably not dissimilar to, 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 Gav, to Gareth's because I've been listening to him and had a bit of a nose over his shoulder at his image. And it's probably very similar sort of style, but from here I don't see how you can get any better. When you're zooming in and trying to get the mountain range up in front, I think that's the answer. You see, I've got the, the, right in the bottom left-hand corner, I've got the hotel, I think it is, and the, the, the trees, which gives it that little sense of scale because there's a little bit of man-made and there's a little tiny bit of a, a block down the bottom. And the light's on the bottom of the image at the moment, which is casting a lovely sort of uh, tone then between the bottom of the image and then the, the separation between the middle and the top of the image. But what Gareth is waiting for is that light to hit the side. And to be honest, if that happens, I would absolutely be made up. But what I'm doing is I'm taking several shots, I think, and I'm going to take several single exposures and then I'm going to blend parts of the image in that I think look better than the others. Like at the moment, I've just got a nice bit of light on the top sort of left hand corner on the top of the hill, on the top of the mountain where there's a bit of snow and the light was just coming in and just catching it. And then before there was a tiny little bit of the mountain showing on the right hand side. So I can blend by using Photoshop and just paint over them and just try and get the little parts of the image um, to make the one final image. Now, yes, that's probably cheating or is it cheating? Because you're here, you're taking the photos and what you're doing is you're using half a dozen photos to create the final photograph. Now, yeah, it would be, yeah, uh, Gareth just said cheating would be using AI and, and exactly, yeah. If you're gonna you paste in here, another you sky, you're gonna paste in light and paste in rainbows and, uh, you know, unicorns. dragons, unicorns and dinosaurs, then yeah, that would be cheating, wouldn't it? But to actually, I don't find, fo you know, focus stack, uh, not focus stacking, um, exposure blending or light painting and stuff. I don't find that as cheap. See, there's a little bit of light now right in the middle, just on the so peak of the little there, tiny one. As long as you're not putting something in the shot that wasn't there. Yeah, no, I agree. When, you, when I was in the camera clubs, if you, if you use your own images, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, we're here, we're here, we're taking the images. It's just I'm taking several images at different, slightly different times um, and then just going to use those images to blend them in. So if I can, I'll put up a couple of them to show you what they're like without, and then I'll do the final image and blend it together. And if it works, it's going to be amazing. And there's another strawberry straw on the floor. What do you mean if it works, <laughs> if it works when it works, when it works, he's, happy. he's been a right bully to me today. Do you know what I mean? Expect, re respect your elders, young man. Respect your elders. God, these kids these days. <laughs> So we've got another one, it's on the go. I've had to go slightly wider because I started to see the top of Snowden on the right hand side and my composition was just off balance a little bit. The light's so nice, but I think I'm gonna have to go wider. Gareth's getting me all excited. My photo blending's all gonna to go to pot because every time I move the camera, it's out. So 
I might have to go slightly wider. I've got to go wider. I've got to, I've got to go wider. The light's gorgeous. Gareth's vlogging, I'm vlogging. We're both talking over each other. It's just That's stunning. It. It's stunning, it's stunning, it's stunning. It's beautiful. How wide are you? I'm only I don't know, but I'm going to bracket just to even be a safety sake. How wide? How wide am I? Um, I'm at 100. I'm at 100, which means what? About 150 on this? We're getting some really nice light. We're both getting really excited. Like little skits. Ah. Oh, it's getting chilly sitting here on this hill, but the light is starting to do something a little bit. It's not where Gareth wants it. He wants it down on the trees and he wants this really high contrast. But I'm quite happy with what we're getting at the moment. This is looking really really oh, nice <laughs> this is looking really really cool really nice the light's starting to light the side of the range and it's beautiful i reckon this is going to make quite an ass in this quite a nice one you're trying it now quite nice lad <laughs> right nice <laughs> but i am having to bracket uh, the dynamic range is going through the roof even though the histogram says it's okay i might only use one shot but yeah it's bracketing is definitely the safety safety net cheating. oh cheating <laughs> Bless the little kid down here who's getting all excited, the light's about to happen and his image that he's got in his head is, 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 is almost creeping up on us. Um, but at the moment, I'm, a, I'm really happy with what I've got at the moment. Even if it doesn't hit those trees, I'm not really bothered um, because we're getting such a lovely little defined edges and the light's hitting the sides of the hills and within about three minutes, I think the light's going to hit the trees and he's going to be running around like a little kid. He is, he's going to be very, he's going to be very, very pleased. This is where I want his battery to go flat. <laughs> Look, it's reflected on the tree, on the house down there. It's, catch, it's catching the light. He's getting light now down in the bottom left-hand corner where the trees are at the bottom. So, yeah, it does. It looks, it looks pretty good in all fairness. Every time I uh, turn my camera on to do a bit of video, <laughs> Gareth starts video and it's almost like we're in sync. Um, the light at the moment, again, is fantastic. Now, I've tried to shoot a couple of panoramics because the light coming over Mole Shabbat is casting these rays along. So I've gone as wide as I can with the zoom lens, which is 70 mil on this, what's equivalent to probably, what, 110-ish maybe for a full frame. Uh, I know the 100 mil on this, no, 70 on it. Oh, no, I'm confused, the other way around, I'm on 70. Yeah, so it's equivalent to about 110, I think. Um, yeah, the light's beautiful, really, really nice. Uh, so I've changed the composition just slightly and I'm shooting the mountain range again, very sort of triangular, um, using the peak on the thirds. The light catching the clouds is just oh, really good because you've got these sort of highlighted parts and dark bits where it's really popping out. And I think add a little bit of contrast and you know a little bit of clarity would just make them really, really pop out a little bit. And we're just getting this light ray coming across and just catching the bottom as well, which is not quite in frame, but it might make a difference on the edge of the frame, just having a little bit of light. But yeah, the panoramic, hopefully, if that works and stitches together. I didn't have any light on the background, but I think the general image itself is going to look quite nice. It's well worth being up here, even though it's cold and uh, my feet are going numb just standing still. Uh, well, it's not cold, cold, is it? But it's, yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't got a proper warm layer. I didn't bring it here, I left it in the van. Oh, so, oh, oh please, up. please warm me up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, run up and down. If I get too cold, I'll just do a bit of star jumps and you know how it works. In Wales and it stopped raining for goodness sake. <laughs> I know, yeah. You can't ask for everything more, can you? So I think I've just taken what I thought was probably my favourite shot of the day. Um, the by far, even the year, for, forever. Um, because Snowden Peak just, just suddenly popped out of the top. 
Now I'm on, I'm on back button focusing, so there's no way my focus can change. And I'd focused in on the mountain um, and the light was literally catching the top of Snowdon Peak and it was completely surrounded in cloud apart from the peak which was lit up and backlit. It looked absolutely beyond this world. It was, it was amazing. Gareth got it. Um, I did take it, I did get it, but for whatever reason, mine is out of focus and I don't know why. Um, I really, I, I've got no idea why it's out of focus, um, apart from me shouting Fuji, but I'm absolutely gutted. I'm going to put the photograph up and show you anyway. I want two jelly babies because I'm really upset. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I'll put it up and show you, show you how good potentially it could have been. Um, you undertaken it. <laughs> yeah, and then I have to nick Garrus to show you what you should have looked like. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just, yeah, I'm oh, gutted. I'm gutted because it's, it's amazing. And as you'll see, it's, it looks fantastic, but yeah, it, it's out of focus. Oh, I'm getting rather cold now, standing here. It's getting a bit chilly. Um, I've got a base layer in my bag. I didn't bring my proper down jacket because we sort of jumped out the van and ran up the hill, so I didn't bring it with me. Um, and I am getting a bit cold on the top half, so I might put my base layer on just to give me another layer, just a bit of insulation. Um, I'm gutted about that image that I said before. And what we've just done now, we had this panoramic come on, and I'm a lazy, lazy photographer. I really break so many rules, and I am a very, very lazy photographer. And I thought, I'm gonna shoot a pano because, because the pano shot was amazing. It just looked, there was light rays coming through and it looked so, so good. And uh, Gavin said, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, a, a Gareth said he's, he's gonna do a pano. I'm like, yeah, so I flicked my camera around into vertical and I shot this pano, but I shot it in aperture priority, which is what I've done so many times because the editing software now, when you're shooting five brackets, I'm getting the, the layers all the way through, if you like, all, all the image. So it doesn't seem to make a difference. <laughs> and it's so, so wrong. And he come over and he said, oh, your dynamic, dynamic range is not gonna work. And he looked on the side of my camera, what are you doing? And he had to told me, the guy told me off, man, but he's so right. He's so 100% right. If you're gonna shoot a pano, yeah, if you're gonna shoot, if you're gonna shoot a pano, you've got to shoot it in manual. You've got to keep the exposure constant all the way through the image. And I just shot it off in, in aperture priority. So you may have already seen it and if it worked, I'll send it him and just say, look, see, what are you talking about? It's perfect, not a problem. But yeah, well, well, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm... You should always shoot and, and not, and, and not uh, allow for any mistakes. Take ownership. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah, you're right. Works, We've had this all day. If it works, yeah, if. that if isn't allowed. <laughs> no, no. Take this ownership. is the difference between me, <laughs> who is an amateur, an out of control amateur, and a pro that relies solely on having to get it right. Yeah, he, his job, mistakes, his yeah. job is to take photographs and he well, cannot turn up. But technically they don't. <laughs> <laughs> he can't turn up and take a wedding in the hope that he's going to get it right. You know, he, he's got to get his, he's got to get it right. So yeah, there's a big difference between someone like him and someone like me. You know, it's, and he's right. Take ownership, yeah, get it right, <laughs> and get it right, and make sure you go home with a shot. So uh, I'm going to check out any minute now. So uh, yeah, don't disappear. Let's just see if anything else happens. If it does, we'll capture it and then I'll say goodbye. But bear with. So I think. I'm actually done. I think I think the light's gone. Uh, Gareth's still a little bit hopeful um, that the light might creep under and just sort of hit something and light something back there. But I think I think I'm done. I think that's it. So I am going to say goodbye. Um, I'm going to put a link to Steve's channel, um, who's down here. Uh, I've done it before for him. So yeah, have a look at Steve's channel because he's got a slightly smaller channel. So it'd be nice to get a Slight. few more people on there and have a have a little look and see what he does. Because it's always another side of the story. It's always another uh, another different and another dynamics to the images and stuff like that and where we are. Because all three of us have stood here and I know all three of us have been shooting virtually exactly the same photograph, but they're all going to be different. Um, so yeah, it's worth having a check and seeing what Steve's up to and how he's, how he's achieving it. And if you're a Sony lover, he's a Sony man. Gareth is gone up there as you can see there a little red dot climbing up the top he's gone up the top to have a little look on the peak just before we go um, and that's pretty much it um, all I can say is thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and give us a thumbs up because it does help the algorithms and it means uh, that YouTube will or, you know Google will put it out to other people if you do so that small thing of just clicking that thumbs up does make a big big difference and if you can comment I know some people watch on the TV if you watch on your TV and it doesn't give you the option to comment just stick it on your phone for a moment leave it running in the background in the kitchen and just drop us a comment on the bottom um, it really is nice to hear you um, yeah I don't think it's gonna happen if it does you'll get an image at the end of this but till next time, ciao for now, thanks for watching, and uh, see you soon. Ciao.
so just a little bit just to finish off just i just already said goodbye oh and i and just i did say that if it was going to do anything i'd switch it back on again and by god it did something the guys were run up the top i started walking up the top i um stopped to have myself a quick little pee pee and uh, i looked over and i thought this is this something's gonna happen something's gonna happen and yes it did look at the light we've got this final bit of glow we've got this final beam of light shooting across the range and hopefully i managed to snap a panoramic to get it now my lips are going cold it's going really really cold really really quickly and i can feel my lips going numb i'm struggling to talk but that was so so nice to see that last little bit of a glow and the last way to finish off now gareth has just run across here to try and get the the little building down by the lake a little bit central and on his way over he's literally landed on his face he's gone over us <laughs> over titty and uh, ended up on the floor but it gave us a laugh and look there's a light ray going on at the moment down there but I don't think there's a shot. If there is, it's a wide shot. I'm just going to go for a big, wide, super shot uh, just to finish it off. But yeah, that's it. Thank you. Ciao for now. See you soon and bye-bye.